welcome back in this step let's look at different terms which are used to refer to application context ioc container application context bean factory what is inversion of control typically let's say the welcome controller needs the welcome service the way it used to be is the welcome service is actually a dependency of the welcome controller so the welcome controller directly creates an instance of it that means this is tightly coupled to this however when we use spring then we would do this we would create welcome service as a component at component and we would put at at auto wired on this and we would auto wire the welcome service into the welcome controller who does that for us spring framework does that for us so here we are inverting the control the control of creating the welcome service the control of creating the dependency was with the bean itself so the bean the welcome controller was deciding when to create the welcome service when to create the dependency how to create the dependency but now with spring we are shifting that responsibility out to spring this is called inversion of control the control moves out of the controller or the component which needs the dependency to the framework which is injecting the dependency in now the framework is responsible to understand what are the dependencies that this component needs make sure they are available and auto wire them in this is called inversion of control and the program or the framework which provides this is called the ioc container the ioc container is the one which manages these beans so it creates an instance of the welcome service it creates a bean for the welcome controller it would auto wire the welcome service bean into the welcome controller all these things are done by ioc container ioc container is kind of a generic concept it is not really framework specific so this whole thing whichever does this stuff whichever does the wiring creation of beans and things like that is called an ioc container it's a very generic concept and in spring there are two implementations of the ioc container one is the application context and the second one is the bean factory actually the first one is bean factory and the second one is application context in all the examples until now we have been making use of application context because spring recommends to use application context in 99% of these scenarios now what is the difference between an application context and a bean factory application factory is nothing but bean factory plus plus the core features of spring are inside the jar called spring hyphen core and that's what the bean factory provides bean factory provides the basic management for beans and wiring of dependencies that's it it doesn't provide anything more the application context provides more features than a bean factory it provides all the features that are typically needed by enterprise applications so you can kind of call the application context as bean factory plus plus so examples of features that the application context contains but the bean factory does not are the spring aop features we will be discussing these features in one of the next sections things like internationalization you would want to be able to customize the text based on the locale of the user so if a user is coming from india you would want to show him different text compared to somebody coming from let's say us probably for somebody coming from us you would want to use dollars and for somebody coming from japan you would want to use the yen so those kind of capabilities application context provides and also application context provides capabilities like web application context for web applications spring recommends to use application context in all the situations except when memory is at a premium so let's say you have a device an iot device or something where the amount of memory you can use the amount of memory that is present on the device is very very less in those kind of situations you can go for a bean factory but in all typical enterprise application scenarios you can go with an application context in this short video we had a little bit of discussion about what is ioc container and what is application context how is it different from a bean factory until the next step bye bye